Hey Sabre fans, so I have a Vader's Vault upgrade here today. Nice Ardent Elite with Weathering. Ended up getting this in a trade to another member. <coughs> Loud. <coughs> Spectrum, Neopixel, let's do that. I love how the set screw, the set screw even has shine through it. It's actually got a hole drilled in the dead center of it. I don't know if they do all of theirs that way, but I don't know, it's just a small little touch. Makes it better. Neopixel. Let's get a blade in here for you. Crazy stuff going on here. More crazy stuff, more crazy stuff. Let's go with the flicker. That seems appropriate. <laughs> That's another thing I need to do on the SD card, just make duplicates of the power off sound. That way it just powers off every time appropriately. Sound bank selection. I am a Jedi. Traitor! Audio player. Hero. Let's do Hero. beautiful one thing I noticed is with my one inch blade the uh, blade is very snug on this so yeah I got this in a trade for my inception elite I'm sure you, anybody who's been following me for a little bit has probably seen that video so, I actually used the Vader's Vault chassis that they originally sent with this. I, of course, upgraded all the wiring to NeoPixel, like 22 gauge, single, or dual 26, or quadruple 28s, however you want to run it, as long as it's delivering 15 amps from the battery to the board, you are bueno. 
So I did have to do some modifying to this particular chassis in order to get it to properly go in and out. It's still extremely tight because the chassis literally comes like up to about this point. It unthreads there. And then obviously, you know, you might you might have some components here. I'm not sure, Ryan. Sorry, being a smart ass again. <sighs> not a lot of room to work with, but typical Vader's vault quality. Slim as hell. You know, even up here, slim as hell. You got that lovely thin neck powder coated and judging from what I observed uninstalling and reinstalling this from here to here it seems like it's all one piece it seems like this is not threaded in any way it's just literally machined and powder coated and it looks fantastic the powder coat is so well done it looks like brass but back to the chassis I did modify right here with a Dremel just taking a cutting wheel and cutting it off and you know you still have a decent amount of space in between the speaker and the board enough and that way the board can actually fit CFX is just a little bit longer just a touch bit longer plus you still want to be able to access the micro USB for whenever updates are released and so on and so forth so as you can see I had to adhere it with electrical tape I did have to modify this chassis on the back side, that way the electrical tape wouldn't interfere with the actual saber. Turned out quite well. Then I have the 22mm Veco from the custom saber shop. So anybody that's familiar with Vader's Vault Sabers, no, don't actually push on the center of the speaker, you want to push on the rim. And you can also push with this as well, because that's only hitting the rim. Get it started and just throw it on up. And that is one thing I can say about Vader's Vault's hilts. It is just, the way they set up their hilts is perfect for excellent sound venting, you know. It's, you know, it fits perfectly around the speaker to where it's just everything is being pumped through here. It's just fantastic. And this particular hilt is just wonderful. I just love the slim form of it. Good two-hander, good one-hander, however you want to hold it. The weathering is fantastic. I'm assuming that this is the stock weathering from Vader's Vault because that seems kind of like a signature thing from Vader's Vault for their Ardent Elites. And the weathering is really good. You know, my biggest gripe with weathering compounds is the smell it leaves. Like, um, there is a Phoenix Props uh, Star Killer that I'm going to be working on in the future. And one of the members of uh, the Sabre community done the weathering. It looks great. It is fantastically done. Top-notch work. But, you know, it's even just opening the box. Kind of like, what the hell is that? You know... <laughs> You know, you can still kind of smell it on this, but it's not overbearing like it is on that particular hilt. It smells like Casey Birchwood or Birchwood Casey. I always get those two mixed up. It smells like it. And it's a very... It's not a bad smell. It's just... It's very noticeable. That's the best way I can put it. And it's, you know, it's, you handle it, your hands are going to smell like it period you know that's and you know my love for weathered hilts has only grown since I since that v2 I did a video on with the removable top half grip and crystal chamber oh friggin fantastic hilt man KR does really good work as does Vader's fault wonderful hilt very well done CFX upgrade you gotta love it you gotta love it Slides out nice and easy. Remove your battery. Remove your SD card. Play with your fonts, your settings. Settings I'm using now I got from uh, Robert Sotomayor. I don't know how he came across them, but they're fantastic. You know, you got your rainbow blades, you got your flickers, you got your other effects. It's fantastic all around. And I must say, it's 
you know, I'm, I'm kind of torn right now on which Vader's Vault hilt to sell, but I'm pretty sure I'm keeping my Mitsurugi. It is just a fantastic hilt. I love this Ardent. I love Thin Necks. But there's, you know, quick comparison in between the two. I'm about to do a video on this as well because I upgraded it too. Quick comparison it is just dollars to donuts, almost the exact same on width, length, blade depth is a big difference this sucker has some stupid blade depth i think the set screw whenever i replace the led with the neopixel module i think it was right in this area you got all that chunk it's like two to three inches man and there's just there's a lot i like about this hill i'll go over that in the next video but it's kind of a tough decision in between the two it's like oh which one do i want to keep which one do i want to sell well Pretty sure I'm going to sell this one. Great hilt. Somebody's going to love it. I really only need one Vader's Vault hilt. And I think that's the one. Pretty darn sure. Oh, let's see. Is there anything else I need to go over in this video? Um, not really. Not really. It's the... Oh, man. I got to tell you. That's one thing I really like about this hilt. Is those three little dots that are getting the accent LEDs on there. There's a lot of cram foo going on just in this switch section. A lot of cram foo. You know, these 16 millimeter switches, they ain't too short. You know, you, you're talking about putting that in there. Yeah, that's taking up almost the whole freaking area, and it really does. You know, actually, the, uh, the wires for the switch are actually pressing. This is a press fit auxiliary. But also the wires in between this and the auxiliary switch are pressing up against each other, resulting in really good feedback. You know? Sound bank selection. Yeah, this is off. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll probably like this. Stupid a song by Galactic Empire on YouTube really cool really cool stuff I know I have one other let me let me see if uh, let's see also his Battle of the Heroes is on here what font do I have that on? it's not Hoth it's not Hoth oh actually I think I did a, I think I did a custom font on this one too for the ESB fight yeah I 
love the fact that they got oh, good job collector i love the fact that he got tracks for each particular bank instead of having to sift through all the way to the freaking audio player sound bank selection yeah. audio player audio player I do like that track. Um, Sound bank selection. Yeah. Audio player. Gotta be honest, I haven't used the audio player much since we have tracks in the back. Audio so. player. I do think it's cool how there's a low battery alert in this now. So I think it's time for this bad boy to get a charge. I think I've shown it off enough for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, may the force be with you always.